Hello guys, so today in this video, I want to tell you something that you might like. Okay, so right. Hello guys, so today I'm gonna show you my diecast, an F14 caliber wings diecast. Okay, before I talk about the aircraft, I want to show you the box first. So in here, wait. Ah. So in here, we've got a uh, Macross logo here, the Harmony Gold logo here. Uh, if you can see, and also we have uh, the aircraft picture here, F14 limited edition. The scale is 1.72 and also there is Calibre Wings logo here and here there is F14 logo and the type that I buy is Max Type actually there is a uh, two type but I buy the Max Type one okay in the right side and left side is same there is the logo of Calibre wings here, Macross 1 slash 72 F14 Max Type, and also the UN Spacy logo. The top and the bottom is same. Yeah, you can see the left side also same. So and the back side, if you see, there is nothing up here. There is nothing, but in here there is UN Spacy logo. And a Macross logo, and here there is Calibre Wings logo. Designed in Singapore, made in China, but I buy this on Hong in Hong Kong. There is Harmony Gold logo also in here. So basically, UN Spacy Macross UN Spacy is a fictional military airbase from Japan. So it's not real; it's from Japan. It is just fictional. Also inside this box, you will see some. You will see the aircraft if you open it for the first time. You will also see some com attachable components. That is the features they don't like. Attachable components like missiles, bombs, and the pilot also as an, an attachable components. But I don't put it out. Also, we get card. Oh, this is quite interesting. In this card, we will see the aircraft picture here. You can see it. The Wind Spacy logo, painted white. The Macross logo, Rotorock Burman. F14 Max Type, limited 323-800. At the back side, there is only Calibra Wings logo and a Calibra Wings. Yeah, you can see it. Okay, now let's move to the aircraft. Okay, so this is the aircraft. As you can see, it is quite nice. It has a good build quality, solid, and it has some operable components, such like the wings. You can see the wings; it's foldable, like the real F-14. And see the elevators. It's also movable and the window, cockpit window, it is, it, you can open this and at the bottom side, you can see attachable components, like the chairs, it is attachable, both chairs are, are attachable, but I don't know for the front chair, is it attachable or not? And like the engine cowling, it is attachable. This also. The missiles are also attachable, so you can put it here. Can put it here. It's quite nice features.
let me touch it first and done okay okay so oh yes this is for this is also a movable thing this is when you see this on f origin this function is for landing in on aircraft carrier yeah interesting also there is an air brakes here let me release it oh it's hard yeah it's hard one tip for you is when you buy this uh, you might need a glue to attach this why because it is it can get easily detachable so I can recommend you if you buy this you attach this components with glue okay move to the top side again you'll see air brakes here it's movable operable ah it's operable like this okay now talk about the livery the livery for me it's uh, quite nice there is a UN Spacy logo here, here, and there is a UN Spacy here, UN Spacy, and in here is also UN Spacy. Oh, careful! So this is the F fourteen. It is quite nice. The livery for me, it's look. It looks so good. Yes, yeah, so good. So glossy. In here, you also get the General Electric F one hundred and ten engine with dockable cowling. And so you get a uh, operable cockpit window when you buy this and other attachable components and operable components so when you buy this it's quite expensive but you get many features all right so thank you guys for watching my video today and see you next time